Why am I like this? Hello everyone, welcome to a, another creative video, kind of the first one in my new studio space. Even though getting the studio ready, I did have to do a little bit of sewing and a little bit of glue gunning, but this is the first one since then. Today I'm planning to do a little bit of mending that I've been putting off. Things like sewing on a button, hemming some trousers, fixing a candle that has become lopsided and some budget friendly kintsugi kintsugi we are also trying out my microphone in this video which is currently sitting just beyond the table on a little homemade microphone stand no stand, no problem. I have cardboard and duct tape. <laughs> so I present to you the duck stand <laughs> in all its glory. Seems to be working pretty well so far. I don't know if there'll be any kind of sound bouncing off the cardboard backing behind the microphone, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'll buy a stand. And yes, I'm wearing my little overalls in a video about fixing things. Can you blame me? If I had a hard hat, I'd be wearing it. We all know it. So, where to begin? I think I might start with the clothes mending. First up, a button repatriation mission. This humidity, I tell ya, it's driving me nuts. My hair, I cannot wear it down without it being fluffy. <laughs> okay, the first task is complete. The button is attached. Now it's absolutely pouring down with rain, which I'm sure is creating all sorts of lovely fuzziness. <laughs> I tell ya, the minute I try to be productive, bam, something always something. Next up, hemming some trousers. Okay, so I've grabbed my sewing machine. I also tied my hair up because it was driving me bonkers. Here are the trousers that I'm hemming. I've already gone along and sewn the length that it needed to be folded back. It's just a really rough hand sewn stitch that I'll chop out when the actual stitch is in place. I'm just gonna do two really quick stitches. The first one to hold it in place, then I'll cut the excess fabric off and then fold the cut edge over, or under rather, <laughs> and sew that in place to hide it. And that's it. Okay, so I have officially hemmed my first pair of trousers. It wasn't as hard as I expected it to be. It's probably not the neatest job, but if anyone is looking that closely at a hemline, I think they're the one with the problem. And I have some nice little offcuts to use for something else. Moving on. My next fixing project is this candle. <laughs> As you can probably tell, this candle was packed in the car when we moved and the box it was in we didn't take out quick enough. A few days later, I found the candle like this. My plan today is put it in some hot water, let it melt, 
find the wick wherever it is and let it reset. Hopefully that's enough for this candle to be meltable again because it's such a nice candle. <laughs> It has a beautiful smell, it's magnolia, and it has one of those crackling candle wicks. So if I can get a few more hours out of it, that would be great. I'm going to go and get some boiling water and a bowl and give it a go. <laughs> I've got my bowl sitting on a cork mat for heat protection. I'm going to start by scraping off this wax and putting it inside the candle. Like sealed shut. Waste not, want not. <laughs> Gonna have to wash my hands before I touch anything again. It smells so good though. I don't know if this will need much heat to get it going because it's already quite soft. Didn't think this through. <laughs> okay. Hopefully this is just enough to get it soft so that it will settle at the bottom again. That can just sit there for a bit while I get ready for the next project, which is our Kintsugi Gold Crack Filling Repair Decoration stuff. I did the first round of glue gun fixing of this plant pot back in August, I think it was, in a very chaotic unboxing video. My first video where I just turned the camera on and let my personality, for better or for worse, shine through. No punches held. Just grieve. Fuck. No! I need another glue stick. Boy, can I be cringe when I am at my silliest. <laughs> the silliest girl in all the country. It was the video where we got this pearl of wisdom. Even if it is broke, fix it. So I'm going to finish the job today with some budget-friendly kintsugi, where they use gold to fill in cracks to add beauty to something that was broken. But instead of molten gold, we have molten glue and gold paint. I have these coloured glue sticks because they were the only ones available when I needed some at Spotlight. Literally the whole wall of glue sticks was empty and it was just two packs of these coloured glue sticks. What I'm going to do is use the yellow ones, obviously it's the closest colour to the gold, but you can use any colour because it'll need multiple layers of paint anyway. I'm going to fill in the gaps even more than I already have and then paint over it with my gold paint. And that's about it, folks. <laughs> it also desperately needs a dust, like it did in the last video. Ooh. I got a dust every once in a while. All right. Oh my God. Yeah, that was from the last project that I uh, hadn't cleaned up yet. I'm saving it, okay? I didn't think about the label. Oh, the label's probably going to peel off now. Oops. Ah, well. We'll give it a bit more time before putting it in a pot of boiling water. Not giving up just yet. I wouldn't say this looks anything like the actual molten gold technique, but it is a pretty cute dupe. Maybe it was the apprentice's first day, they were told to just do it, give it a go, and they were super nervous, and that's why it turned out like this. We'll go with that story. All that glitters is gold. Shrek is life. This is definitely going to need multiple coats of paint. 
Can you really call it a crafting project if it doesn't take you way longer than you expect? Okay, so I just filmed a whole bit that I didn't press the record button for. And when I went to go and do a close up, I realized it hadn't been recording. So where are we at? The candle was sitting in the hot water the whole time I was working on the plant pot. I've just opened it up and started squidging the wax. <laughs> and I found the wick. I feel like Arthur pulling the sword, except it was a bog instead of a rock. <laughs> anyway, so most of it was really soft. None of it was like super runny. Let's, uh, how are we gonna do this? Get off, get off, get off, get off. I guess just try and put it back in the middle. <laughs> okay. I need a towel. So this is how we're looking at the moment. Definitely a bit, you know, lumpy. <laughs> I'll let it sit for a bit first to get it as solid as possible and then I'll try lighting it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed mending some things with me today. Rather than chucking them out and buying something new, I've been able to give new life to four things in five things. Just like the wild times of yesteryear, I was able to sit down and do some mending to keep the same clothes going for longer rather than chucking them out and buying something new to replace them. It's definitely a skill that everybody should try to get some kind of handle on or altering a piece of clothing that no longer fits you so that you can keep wearing it. Recently, I chopped a dress in half that was way too baggy for me now and turned it into a cute little crop top and skirt. I'll chuck the link up here if you missed that one. When I was chopping it up, it felt like that classic trope of the scorned lover chopping up their partner's, well, their ex's clothing. It's one of my favorite tropes in movies or books. But on that occasion, I got to sew the pieces back together again and had a cute outfit to show for it. As a wise woman once said, So I just finished transferring the files to my computer and was starting to take a listen to begin the editing process when I have discovered the last hour of audio from my microphone was all corrupted and ruined. I actually knocked my little microphone stand over because I've got the cord pulled really taut and I tripped on it and it fell over. I checked to make sure it was still plugged in but I didn't check to make sure nothing else was loose. So that's why I had to swap to some microphone audio and I am re-recording the conclusion now. I'm really happy with how they all turned out. The plant pot had two different ways to do the glue. You could either just fill the crack or you could overfill the crack and have it raised. And I think both look good, but they probably just need to be consistent on the pot that you're repairing. The gold color came up really nice and shiny. I will go through and clean up the edges and do one more coat of paint just to make it really pop. But I think it turned out quite cute. The candle has been <laughs> repaired. <laughs> it definitely looks quite squidgy. I just need to trim the wick so that I can start burning it again and get that wax completely level again. I can't wait to get this scent going again and my little crackly wood sounds. She's a little bit in struggle town but I think all in all we'll call that one a success. Let me know what you fixed at home to be able to keep using something or make it beautiful in its imperfections, or if there is a way I could have improved my technique as well. But in the meantime, you know the drill. Like a video to feed the creator for a day, subscribe to support them forever. Until next time, keep mending. Hello, hello. 
It always takes so long to get set up that I just cannot be bothered starting once I'm ready to go. <laughs> so can't you... So that it looks professional. Professionally DIY. Can we fix it? Make the mender. Yes, we can.